but I'm gonna walk this way. It's very dangerous out here today. Look at it. It's pretty much just glare ice. I went out and bought these glasses yesterday at Mountain Equipment Co-op. At this point, I'm kind of happy I did, but I think they're okay. I don't really know what I'm out here to accomplish today. I'm just gonna see how it is out here. It's beautiful coming out here first thing in the morning. I'm gonna try and get out a bit more this year. So we'll see how it goes. We got dogs. A pack of coyote, coyotes as well. Um, obviously, there's many of them out here. Got us a little plains bison down there. So it walked right into him. He's probably going to take off right away, which is okay. We'll try and make our way down there very slowly. I'm sure maybe we won't trip him out too badly. There he goes. Oh, there's some more. Big animals, let's go see. They don't look too happy about me being here. A couple of them got their tails up. Most of them do, as a matter of fact. And the higher the tail, the more they're telling you to F-O. And it's a message to the herd to keep an, a watch because they're not sure. I don't know, it's kind of like a standoff here, boys. I don't want to frighten them. But I think what they're going to do is they're just going to take off into the woods here. They're really not sure what to make of me. So I don't want to spook them. And the more I talk, the more it freaks them out. So I'm honestly not sure where they want to go, but I kind of wish they would just go one way or another. So I know which way to go. <laughs> I don't feel comfortable walking around them, but we'll see, let's try to. Let's see if we can go this way. Maybe they'll walk away. But see, they don't. It's like they, it's like they turn to stand off. I'm just gonna go up the hill here. And see if they wanna go the other way. Just go this way and then let them understand that we're not here to bother them. Oh, I'm out across the plains again. And let me tell you something. It gets cold. That wind is brutal. But that's what you get when you're a G. So we'll see how this goes. But yeah, prepared for this business. 
But anyways, I'm just gonna cross. And of course, everything's frozen. Absolutely frozen. So you really gotta watch where you're walking. We're almost across the plains here. We're almost back in the trees. So at least it'll feel about six degrees warmer. That much I can guarantee. Startled me there when we came up on them bison back there. And then of course they didn't seem to want to get out of the way. They didn't think I was going to get out of their way. So I've been out here about two and a half hours. I just figured I'd stop and make a quick coffee. I haven't really had anything since I left. Um, never really know what to say when I want to start these videos. And I think that's part of the problem is I come out here with a mind just racing to figure out what do you want to say? What am I going to say? How am I going to say it? What to say? Should I take notes? Should I talk about coyotes, beavers, wolves? trees, mushrooms, leaves, snow, whatever, you know, and I don't know what to say half the time. So I've decided basically just to come out here and use it as basically just like a, like a brain refresh. You know, it's so beautiful out here. I find I just, you just kind of have to refresh and recharge your batteries you know I'm going to school tomorrow my second year of heavy equipment technician off-road so I just decided to come out here today and take in nature a little bit and just decompress empty the brain slow her down a bit ready for studies and moving forward so well, it's 11.30, better keep moving. Maybe get to the car by about one, doubt it, that's pretty quick, but we'll see how it goes. It's obviously a heck of a lot cooler out right now than it was when I started. The sun was shining, I need my sunglasses on, everything is groovy. Now, uh, it's overcast and little breezy, got a tiny, tiny bit of snow. I wouldn't be at all surprised. So far it says I've gone 9.85 kilometers in a total time of three hours, but that's of course after coffee and everything. So I think we're in a, we're making good time. We'll see how it goes. All right, so six kilometers left to the car and it's getting pretty chilly. It's getting pretty cool out here. Wind is starting to pick up. I'm really hoping uh, it doesn't get any worse. I'll be honest with you, I was a little bit foolish today because I was tricked by the sunlight in the uh, in the morning there when we were leaving the car. I kind of thought the day would settle off and pan out to be a pretty nice day. Obviously that turned out to be a falsity. So it's pretty damn chilly out here right now. We got a little tiny skiff of snow in some areas of the hike. Just a just a just a dusting. Nothing since. But there's six kilometers left. I didn't bring any other gear. That's my foolish point here today. I didn't bring any sort of wind gear. I didn't bring anything other than what I'm wearing right now. And I'll tell you this is a nice sweater. But it doesn't block the wind for shit. It's pretty much just a fleece throw, which is okay. I mean, I got it on sale for 25 bucks, so you get what you pay for. But I was a little foolish in leaving the car today with only this small pack, and 
at least I have my coffee, some water. I could always boil some water if I'm absolutely unnecessary. But again, I'm only six kilometers away. But my point here is all in, what I'm trying to make to you guys is that even on a decision like that, it could make for a really shitty afternoon for me. If it, if it decides to rain, because we get lots of freezing rain up here, and, or just get wet snow, and, <clears throat> When I become pretty wet, then I that six kilometers can feel like a long, long way. So, I mean, I'm not being a drama queen here. I'm just letting you guys know that you got to really be careful when you go for winter hikes in Alberta and other areas like that that don't have nice, nice weather because it can change on you in a hurry. And in the event that it does, it can make for a pretty shitty day. So just keep that in mind. So. I'm going to try and make haste here and get back to the car before anything further blows in. Alright, so I'm on the Oster Lake Fire Road. Just got off the Twyak Lake Trail. You can either go that way and then go towards the Oster Lake backcountry campsite and then you would take Twyak Lake Trail back down yonder <laughs> but because I am unprepared I have half a battery left I have basically no wind protection and no warmth going on right now so I'm just gonna kind of hightail her down this road which will take me probably close to an hour anyway but if I get back to you guys if I report I will if I'm not Maybe I'll just talk to you guys once I get closer to the car, just simply so I have a little bit of battery juice to kind of sum up the hike or the walk, I guess, or whatever we want to start calling these. And uh, we'll go from there. We might even have to do the summary from home, which is totally fine with me, but um, we'll see. So if I see anything cool, you guys will too. Half an hour at most. And uh, yeah, then we'll be in the car, I'm sure. But boy. Ugh. Man, that wind is chill. I feel like a fool. Fool. So yeah, we'll be closing in on the last couple kilometers here on, on the fire road, I'm assuming. You can hear traffic, so you can assume that we're fairly close. Um, Overall, like I said, it was it's a pretty straightforward hike, walk. Um, I would have appreciated going the entire way. This is shaving probably a couple kilometers off of it. Uh, but again, as I said, it's tough to appreciate and enjoy when you're focused on how cold. You, I mean, I'm not freezing and shivering. I just... I wasn't out here prepared enough to, to deal with any sort of inclement weather and I'd rather not spend the next week sick and coughing and getting a cold. I do have to go to school tomorrow, so I'd rather be home. So anyways, we'll keep on trucking. I'm approaching the end of the trail. My battery's flashing red. I'm really not prepared today. It's probably going to die on me any second now. So thanks for coming, take care of yourselves, have fun, and I'll maybe wrap some more of this up when I get home tonight. Alright, thanks for coming.